should be from the Spanish Timada. Okay. It's an old shed. Yeah. Not really new one. Maybe it's for five, six years ago. Yeah. 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 Is it Brazilian? Mm -hmm. I'm just taking a leisurely drive to the boot cell this morning because I am actually a little bit early. I'm going to be early for the early start at the boot sale, uh, which is not good really. I could have had an extra few minutes in bed, but um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to be here so quick. Yeah, 10 minutes early for the early start. Let's see what we can find in the field. See you there. There we go. Probably one of the best views you'll get at a boot sale. Let me know in the comments if yours is better than that. Maybe you're at the beach or something. And then if we walk around here, it's the booty all setting up. A bit early yet. I've got a few here, mate. Okay, mate. A few cement on these. See what we've got. Let's have a look. We reckon tenner. Sounds fine to me, mate. Hey? Sounds fine to me, that. There you go. Lovely, mate. Cheers, Cheers. thank you. Watch your figures, please. Two pen each, sir. It's like Tom Jones, that one. <laughs> Does look a little bit like him. Did you do a quid on that one? No, sir. They're all two pounds. Two pounds. I'm only just started off. Okay. Go on, I'll take that one off you. Okay, two, sir. Fair enough. So what do you want for it?
Do you four quid? Take that, thank you. I think the missus entered your draw. <laughs> oh, I think she yeah, was going she did. to. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> What have you got in your boots, please? Sorry? How much are your boots? Ten. Ten? Yeah. Eight pounds for you. I'll take those for eight. Eight pound, yeah. Do you have eight pounds or? Um, I shall have a look for you. Okay. How much is your fleece? Two, mate. Two quid. Go ahead, take that, thank you. Thank Cheers, you. thanks. Have a good day. You too. We're done here at the Saturday boot sale and it's been one of them days I've literally been wandering round and round and round. And I've struggled to get more than one bag of stuff. Um, and that's how it goes sometimes. We all put out videos, us YouTubers, and we show all the amazing things that we pick up at boot sales. But sometimes you get up at five in the morning and you spend three hours wandering around and you pick up hardly anything and sometimes that happens and today that was that was what it was basically but luckily for you you've got another boot sale coming up straight away for me it'll be 24 hours for you it's a matter of seconds so at a click of my fingers we'll be there like that we are here again it's another morning another boot sale and I, I'm, I'm here bang on six o'clock and the field is very busy already. Uh, let's have a quick view out of the window. Very, very busy. Normally, it would be a bit quiet on there at six, but here we go. Anyway, let's get out there, see if we can find a bit more than we did yesterday. How much are your trainers, please? Fiver. Fiver? Size six and a half. I'll take those.
Hopefully he can leak that one. Yeah. Very How much is it? I think it's eight pounds on him. Eight on it. They're going for silly money on eBay at the minute. Fisher Fry's tool kit. <sighs> How much are your figures, please? Um, pounds that one. Pound. Okay. Yeah. I might have a few bits if you want to do a bit of a deal on them. Okay. Um, Right, here's what I've got. What do you what do you think? Got those three. Um, seventeen pound. Fourteen. Uh, I've had. Civic son, uh, instructions from my son. Okay. <laughs> He's only just let go of his toys, so. All right. <laughs> what about 15? Uh, 16, and I might not get in trouble. Oh, go on, let's do it then. Uh, okay. How much is that one, please? Would you do two on it? Yes. Great, thank you. They're hard to come by, those yeah, I love those. Let's get it on eBay. I mean, they're somewhere. There you go. Oh, that's a euro. A pound. And all the books are 50p, mate. Okay. Those other, I think that's what you wanted a pound for as well. Okay, let's have a look at that. Not really sure. This is all my mum's old stuff. <laughs> I'll take those two. It's two pound, yeah. Fifty p. What's he from? Do you know? Uh, Burger King, um, Wolfman, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's. Hmm. That's a fortnight, isn't it? <laughs> I'll take those four.
it's from Terminator. Oh. Does anything go with it? Is it missing like a figure or anything? Uh, no, you um, pour, I think this opens up at the back and it's yeah. like you pour stuff in and it fills it up. It's like a mould. Oh, right. So I'm not sure if it's plastic Never Paris seen that before. It's only a quid if you want it. Oh, go on, I'll take it for a quid. Who knows? <laughs> How much is that one? 15. 12. Go on, I'll do 12. Uh, I want to use £4 each. Four each. Yes, yeah, okay. Is your car working? Uh, uh, can. Is that the car working? Do you know is it, if it's working? These batteries, doesn't it? It takes batteries. Yeah, no, I just wondered if you yeah, knew. Yeah, I mean, as far as I'm aware, it does. You knew if it works. It just needs batteries yeah, batteries yeah. for it. What do you want on it? Uh, three. Three. Go on, I'll take that, thank you. How much? 50. 50p? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. There you go, cheers. Good one, thank you. Thank you. Is that one? 20p, mate. I'll give you 50p for it. Oh, go on then. 50p. Yeah, it's not how negotiations is meant to go, is it? Well, no, I'm, you know, I'm the same. Is I've just got myself out of a couple of quid, but then, <laughs> it's a nice day, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Can't give you 20p for something. Uh, they're just. Go. What's inside? I've just sold a whole box of dinosaurs for 20 quid. There's probably 150 quid worth there. You just sold it? Yeah, I just said how much for all the lot. I said just, I was going to sort it out of box like this, but it's bigger. Oh. Just because it's good for a lot. Damn! Sounds like I missed out on that one. Got dinosaurs coming out of here. Well, I did have dinosaurs coming out of here. Well, anything Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, if you've got anything like that, I'm, I'm happy to have a look at it. Not men, yeah. I've got nothing to But I've just sold a Jurassic Park Jeep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, Bab, I'll come and get them there. Good news, really buy it. One by one. They're bloody expensive, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just a collection of birthdays and Christmases. It's That's just, it, it accumulates, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it's, but it's just no interest in them anymore. Any five quid there? How much if they're taking them off? Really good price. £20 for the two. 15 No. 20 It's a good price, man. Is that original? Or? Yeah. Yes. No. No, brother. How much is your game, please? Oh, £15. Pound. Okay, just hang on for a minute. Just cut something up. Please. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. 
Yeah, yeah, no. Get out of here, man. Oh, no. no stay, 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 stay. Stay, stay. It's good to stay, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course it's doing. See, I'm not buying just one piece. Yeah. What have you got in your shirt? Which one, Chris? The original. If you want me to stay, find me a suitcase. You want to see, you, you, if you want to see, yeah, I'll give me a Okay. If you want me to stay, suitcase. <laughs> a little Brazil Not. one there, it's a fibre. These two? What's the um, black top there? This one? Yeah. And Adidas training top. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Right. I've got these. Yeah, you can uh, that three, four, five, six. Yeah. That's all the tissue paper I've got. Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> Do you want to do the two fat face at four each? Yeah, so that's uh, 14. Yeah. Go for it. Create space on the table. Yeah. <laughs> How much are your pops? It's three quid each. Three quid each. Any more? I know that's it for those, yeah. Yeah, I'll take those. Thank you. How much is your DVD set, please? Uh, two pounds. Two pounds. I'm not sure if there was one missing on one. The guy's just checking the follow-up series on that. He's, oh, he's, okay. He's got that first one. Um, it might be another one. There was one missing. Yeah, I think there's one missing there. On that one. How much are your little figures? Pound. Yeah. <coughs> about this one? Uh, 350 that one. Three. Do a fiver on those? Uh, it's for the grandkids, so no, I can't do that. No. Um, so what, what have you got? We got three there, or is that four? Three. 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 So it's six, six fifty. Please. Sorry. They're a pound each because they've all got broken limbs or oh, bits right. missing. Okay. So. Is that your price on it there? Sorry? Is that your price? Your stickers? Yeah. Did you do a fiver on it?
Hold on a second. That one, please. All right, thank you. What's this? Here? Is this a kid's one? It's kids, yeah. He's ten. Is it for the both parts? Yeah, the shorts and the top. Everything's been washed, it's all nice and clean. And that's three pounds. Yeah. I'll take this one and, and the... Yeah, thank you. That. A seven pound, seven. please. How much you pops, please? Six pound each. Six each. Two for Tanner. Okay. Send that to Eddie when he has comes out of his office. When he has his operation. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's why he's like, what is price? <laughs> you definitely want a fiver. Yeah, I did say fiver. It's a shame you not got the remote for it. Um, what is this from, do you know? Yeah, it's from um, Indiana Jones. Ah. It's the book. Oh, it's on there, yeah. A pound. Pound? Yeah. I keep seeing things that I'm not seeing a minute ago. That's from Harry Potter. Yeah. How much is a spider? A uh, two pound spider. Impressive back on the Okay. Maybe I need some batteries. Oh no. <laughs> two pound on that, so that's eight there. <sighs> Go on then, I'll take those. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> The Chelsea Shore. Oh yeah. How much are these two? Which one? Five pound each. Just not sure about this one. Did you do the three for a tenner? Twelve for ten. Twelve for three. Yeah, just not sure about that one. Yeah. What? You didn't mention anything on the things? No. I don't think so. Doesn't normally anyway. Does it? No. How about the just a tag. Should be from the Spanish Timada. Okay. It's an old shed. Yeah. Not really new one. Maybe it's four, five, six years ago or maybe more. Yeah. Looks like Atletico Minero. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Brazilian. Is it Brazilian? Mm-hmm. Isn't that Spanish? Brazil. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Let's go, Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a good quality, honestly. Mm. Go on, we'll give it a go. 12 quid. Yeah, it's fine.
on the way home kind of absolutely goosed now to be honest with you two days at 5 a.m get ups but today's been a lot better than yesterday but what we're going to do is we're going to get back we're going to go through everything from the two days show you what we picked up welcome back we're here home in the office and we're going to go through two hauls so we've got the saturday which was the first boot sale you saw and the sunday that i've just come back from and here's everything that we've got quite a lot of stuff albeit saturday wasn't great i'm going to start over with saturday let's do it in order so the first thing i picked up was this um pair of football boots now this is not the right box it's down as a triple white night court so this is the wrong box but they're quite nice football boots they're absolutely immaculate probably never worn cost me eight pound now i did struggle to kind of find these um on ebay i think they're part of the nike rio range i'm not sure which model at the moment Whoop. Ah! i'm not sure which which exact pair it is but at eight pound i think my money's safe on these um, I reckon uh, maybe 40 to 50 pound on the boots. Let's put those away. Um, right, what else did we get on the Saturday? We picked up this uh, iPod uh, Classic 60 gigabyte. It's a bit bruised and battered, and I think it's going to be spares and repairs only because I've tried putting it on charge, and it comes up with contact Apple support. So I think there's an issue with it. So it's going to have to be spares and repairs. Uh, I paid £4 for it. I might get 20 back spares and repairs on it. It's not too bad. Um, what else? We got a... I was really scrabbling around for stuff, to be honest, on the Saturday. We picked up this O'Neill fleece, uh, which is quite nice, really, to be honest. Not really fleecy weather right now, but what size are we talking about here? It's an XL O'Neill fleece, £2 paid. It's got to be £25, that, hasn't it? And then the rest that I got on the Saturday were just these, which are these figures. Most of these are vintage, um, quite a few 90s ones. We've got a turtle. Uh, we got uh, something from Star Wars. You know, big Star Wars fan here. I don't know what that is got the flash thing here but i don't know if it's just something cheap or not but i didn't pay a lot for these what did i pay a uh, bundle of figures uh i paid a tenner on these figures um apart from the star trek one which was two pound um darth vader but a silver version of him um no idea uh doctor who i think another turtles one so I picked up most of them because of their age. Star Wars, another Star Wars, Power Rangers. I've got loads of Power Rangers figures now. I'm going to say Star Wars, Power Rangers. Now this one is vintage. This is an old Power Rangers one. I think it's early 90s, 94, I think, on that one. So... Uh, Assassin's Creed. Uh, I'm going to say Doctor Who. And so that lot was £10. And this was £2 from a different stall. Bit of a shame that his nose has got a bit of wear there. But I suppose you could touch him up, I suppose. Uh, I don't know the character, but I know certain people that will. That's a 2006 figure so i can't give you a value on these i've not checked them i'll be here all night checking all these but i'm thinking possibly a future whatnot show uh, i might use these for whatnot quite a lot of figures at the moment to go for it so let's go through this lot this is sunday quite a contrast to the saturday and the sunday's always generally better than the saturday but i have got some great items here let's just work our way through it and we'll put everything on there this is an indiana jones whip i need to test it all and stuff um i think it was a pound i bought loads from a store loads of figures and stuff maybe i should test this out on bell give her a good whoosh, whoosh. 
There you go. A pound. Uh, I think it's worth about a tenner. Um, oh, I've not checked Wally -E yet. Or Godzilla. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, did I even put them on my list? I did put them on my list, but I forgot to check the values of these. Um, Wally -E was two pound. He's nice. And, yeah, I can never leave Wally -E behind at two pound. So I'm not sure the value, but normally, you know, you can get some decent money, maybe. If I had to guess right now, I'd say £15, but that is a pure guess at the moment. And then this Godzilla one, which is Godzilla versus Kong. He was 50p, so definitely picking him up. But again, I really don't know the value of that one. I forgot to check. Uh, let's have a look now. What have we got here? Let's get rid of some of the bulk. Uh, we've got a Tonka fire truck, fire engine. Um, I wouldn't have picked it up other than the fact that it's made by Tonka. Um, it's not metal or anything like that, but it's still a nice truck. It's got the sounds and stuff on it. The thing is, I struggled a bit to find uh, this exact same one. There's only one that I could see that had sold on auction for 99p. And obviously, you, you can't go off auctions when you're looking at completed and sold. It's just pointless going off auctions. So I paid a pound for this. Um, I'm going to say £20 on it. Off the top of my head, £20. Uh, well, let's see what else we've got. We've got a match of the day LCD game. Pound paid. I think it's probably worth... I'm going to estimate £10 on that. Uh, we've got some sort of tarot-related stuff. This one, I couldn't find the exact same one on eBay. I paid a pound for it. I'm going to guess at, say, about 12. But this one, Star and Gate, a tool for intuition. This has got a book and it's got um, all the cards there. Hopefully it's all complete. A bit battered on the outer cover, but a pound paid. Actually, that could be worth maybe £30. So that's a nice one. And let's leave all the toys till the end, I think. Let's go through some clothing. Uh, let's put this, that there. Let's go through some clothing. I've got some interesting bits of clothing. Quite a nice uh, Adidas tracky top. Uh, what size are we talking about here? That is a UK XL. Well, that's nice. That was £4. I think that's going to be worth about 25 ish Now, as a rule, I don't really buy kids' clothing. Um, but I have done all right with full kits. Um, this was three. Ah, oh, this sacrilege staple. A football shirt. <laughs> uh, three pound for age ten Barcelona kit, top and shorts, pretty good condition. So three pound, your money's safe there. I've sold one of these recently, the a black version, maybe the away kit or something. Um, I'm thinking twenty to twenty five on that. Now, this is an unusual jersey. I struggled to find this on the old eBay. So I'm going to have to do a bit more research. It's Spain. I know that much before I even start. Um, but I'm not 100% sure about the value of it. Uh, I paid £4 for it. I would hope that it's... I would, I would hope it's going to be worth £30. Um, but... Struggled to find the exact same thing. What size is it? I think it's a large. The, the lady had another one which was an extra small and it was like super, super small. So I left it behind. But when I've been looking on eBay, even though I can't find the same one, there are some with this logo on. So I probably should have picked that up as well. But I left it behind because it was a very, very, very small size. But I definitely picked up the large there. Um, I've got two fat face uh, sweaters. You can see at one point these were £50, £40 and then £25. It's been reduced to hell. Um, but fat face is a good brand to find, to pick up. Normally good sellers. A long sleeve sweater and I paid £4 for that one. I think that's about £25. Uh, this one's a blue one, obviously. Um, also reduced to hell down to 25 i'm going to stick with my 25 bet estimate on that as well with it being new with tags uh if it was second hand i'd probably go under the 20 on it but new with tags four pounds spent um now the gent on the stall um 
sort of said this was Napoli. I know it's not Napoli um, because that is not Napoli's logo. But I still thought it looked interesting for four pound. I think I paid four pound on this. Uh, but I think it's only a local sort of youth team or something. So um, I might struggle with this one. Um, I'm going to put an estimate of ten to twelve pound on it. So four pound paid. That's not ideal. The other one I got from the store for four pound with this England polo shirt or jersey. Number six. It's got Terry on the back. £4 paid. I think my money's okay with this one. Sorry I'm one-handed here. Um, you're not getting great views of what I've picked up. Yes. Uh, oh. uh, Value-wise, maybe 25 Maybe. Now, this one was the one that sparked my interest. Um... I did some checking while I was there, and it's in real nice condition. I'm just hoping that it's genuine. It's Atletico Mineiro, which is a Brazilian team. I checked it while I was at the stall. Uh, the chap thought it was a Spanish team, but I wasn't convinced because I do recognise most Spanish uh, badges, but that one, it's Atletico Mineiro or Club Atletico Mineiro. Um, now, I'm hoping this is genuine. If it is, I think it could be worth £50, £60. Pound. And I paid £4 for it. Um, the thing that's making me um, think that it is genuine is that that's quite a nicely detailed badge there on the corner. Can you see? Normally wouldn't go to that much effort. But, um, yeah, that could be a banger. Or it could be a failure, if it's fake. Two pairs of trainers today. These pair of Reeboks, which are quite nice. These are... Oh, what size was the football shirt? I think it was a medium. I think that was a medium. Um, these are UK six and a half. That's women's six and a half. Orthopedic comfort soles or whatever. Nice condition. Paid five pound. And I think they are worth about 30. And these are also very nice. Um, Adidas Neos. Uh, they are Neos, aren't they? Yes, yeah, Neos. Uh, need a little bit of a clean up, but on the whole, the suede on the top is pretty good. Um, what did I have value wise on this? I'm, I'm going to say £30 plus on those. And that was £5 spent as well. Right, let's move over here a little bit to some of this stuff. Let's get rid of some of these mugs. Uh, we've got a Chicago the Musical mug, one pound. I think that's about a tenner's worth. Shrek the Musical mug, one pound. Again, I'm going to guess at, uh, at ten pound. Disneyland Paris, quite a nice big bowl mug there. Disneyland Paris. Um, one pound paid. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna guess. I do a lot of guessing, don't I? Fifteen pound on that. And then um, these are really nice. This is a pair of Disney Store um, Mickey and Minnie mugs, matching pair. Mickey Mouse. Or is it just Mickey? It might just be Mickey. Uh, I paid £3 for those two, and I'm, I'm thinking on those. They could be £20 plus, maybe £25. Uh, this item was my kind of unusual buy of the day. It, originally, I thought this was um, trench art at first, because I thought this was kind of like a, a bit of old, you know, artillery or whatever you call it. Um, but it's not actually, it's a miner's lamp. I've had a look when I come back. I paid £12 for this. Something that sparked my interest, of course, was that um, the projector, Lamp and Lighting Co. makers, Eccles, Manchester, not far from where I'm from, not a million miles, just a few miles away. So it kind of sparked my interest. And um, it's a cool thing. Lamps always do well. Now, the only problem with this lamp is, look, it should have glass here, 
and I'm putting my fingers through, so clearly no glass. So it's missing its glass, so it has got a bit of an issue. But other than that, it's in quite nice condition. I paid £12. Um, now, if that had the glass, we could be looking at some real good money. Even though it's not got the glass, I'm still going to aim for around the £50 mark on that. Now, let's move around. Let's move around. We've got some... We're moving on to toys now. We've got a couple of Harry Potter toys. We've got the spider. Don't ask me what the spider is called. Belle would know. She will hate this. She absolutely hates, has this fear of spiders. Any even toys she don't like. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do her with this one. Watch. She'll love that. Um, I couldn't find the value of it though. Couldn't find the value of that one, but I could find the value of this. This is a nice find. This is the snake from Harry Potter, obviously. Um, I'm not sure what it does yet. But those two, I think, worked out in a bundle deal, roughly £2 each. I've had to split everything down in out of their bundles. This is worth £30-ish, pounds, so that's a nice one. I'm hoping this bite is going to be worth a little bit as well. It may not be worth as much as, much as the snake. But the snake is very cool. I like that. Uh, a couple of pop figures. Um, the, the people I bought that big bundle off the other week for £3 each were there. And I bought these two off them and they did me the same price. £3 each. Pinocchio uh, and Mog Mowgli. £3 each. Um, and are they both special? So that's an exclusive. And that's an exclusive pop in a box. So I would estimate they're going to be 10 to £15 each. Um, unless those exclusives turn out to be better than I thought. Um, I bought some Eagle Mosses from the same stall. Only 50p each. Um, these will probably go to whatnot at some point. I don't know when. Um... That one's from Black Panther. I'm not sure what the other ones are. I've got two the same there. Uh, Captain America something. Okay, uh, they were 50p each, so I'm probably going to whatnot those. Right, oh, we've got loads to get. Look at all this. This I spotted in a box. No idea what it was, but the lady told me it was Terminator Salvation, and it is because it's written on the bottom. Terminator Salvation, and apparently there's a plunger on the back here. You plunge that down and something happens here. It fills up with something. I don't know if it's missing anything, but that is an unusual pickup. I can't even find this on eBay. I think she charged me a pound. You might know if it was on camera or not. I think it was a pound. It might have even been 50p. It wasn't a lot of money, I know that much, so I just put it in my bag. I thought, I'll have that, Terminator Salvation. Um, value wise, I ain't got a clue because I just could not find the same one. So I'm going to have to do a bit more work on that. Um, I've got this thing, this Doctor Who thing. Two thousand and four. It's part of a bundle. Probably worked out a couple of pound. Um, let's try and clear some of this. Right, we've got a Toy Story remote control car. Sold one of these before, it did all right. The only problem with this one is, and I can't remember if the last time I had the same problem, is it's missing a woody or buzz. You normally get woody or buzz and they sit on top of it. Um, so it is missing that. Paid £3, hopefully it works. If it works, maybe around the £20 mark. Um, a Dreamcast keyboard. Unusual pickup. Very rarely see anything Dreamcast. But this is all sealed up inside. It's all in its packaging. It looks like it's never been touched. Um, six pound paid, so I paid up. I was a bit concerned about paying six pound. Uh, I had a quick look on eBay and I didn't look at sold. I just look at listed and there was stuff listed for 30 pound, but I think that's too high. So I think I might only get about 20-ish 20 20 for that. Um, so I probably paid too much for that. But when you see something like Dreamcast, you just immediately think it's going to be worth money. But I might have paid too much for £6 there. I bet you're all just wanting to see this, aren't you? It's a DeLorean 
Back to the Future car. Lucky little pickup that. She got it out of the car when I was buying other stuff. But this should be a remote control DeLorean. Unfortunately, there's no controller with it. But it's still a really nice piece to, you know, put on your shelf or whatever. Paid a fiver. Wouldn't budge on price on this. Um, list price. 20 to 30 pound. I'll keep it vague. 20 to 30 pound, even without the controller. Now, the rest of all this, right, pretty sure. Right, what I did with this lot, I bought all these figures from different sellers. Some bigger bundles, some smaller bundles, some one or two figures. But I've worked out that this lot cost me about 30 quid by the time I added it all up. So just have in mind that everything now I'm going to show you is about £30. And I don't even know what half of it is, but I know when stuff's from films and I know when stuff's vintage and that, you can check it. So I'm hoping that because of the low cost price that they're all going to be worth something. I have no idea what that is. My first thought when I saw it was was Robocop, just from a distance, but it's not Robocop. It says Cyclops 05 on it. it I don't know. No idea. I'm sure you guys are going to scream and shout at me in the comments. Feel free because it helps me. Uh, so just bear in mind, £30 for this next lot of stuff. Um... Possibly Doctor Who. That was my tummy. I don't know if you heard that. No idea who that is and what it's from. Toy Story Woody um, with some kind of backpack on. Thought he was worth picking up. We've got a Hulk here. Quite a nice, nice quality one. Who's it made by? Hasbro something or other. Can't see a date. Oh, sh oh, for crying out loud. It's all going wrong. 2011 Hulk. What did I drop? That one. Um, this guy, I do not know who it is. I'm guessing Marvel of some kind. Looks like Marvel. You know I love Marvel. Uh, small soldiers. Now, quite a few people picked this up. But the issue with it is, he's missing his back battery pack, which is a real shame. But she only, she only charged me 50p for it, so I just couldn't leave it behind for 50p. Looks like he's been through the wars as well. He just needs a good old clean-up. But he's still got to be worth something, hasn't he? I bought three Transformers. Only little diddy things. Little diddy things, probably like Burger King, McDonald's or something. Um... But I thought they were neat, and I'm going to send them to a friend of mine. Uh, what else do we get? This guy is also Small Soldiers, um, 1998. So, yeah, you can go with him. Um, Spider-Man... Figure. Jar Jar Binks. Yay! The best character from Star Wars. Uh, we've got a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World pop figure. That's just no box with it, obviously, but still a nice pop figure. Jurassic Park. Street Sharks. Really grimy. Really grimy. But I think he'll, he'll come up a treat by the time I... Give them a good old clean. Um, so £30 for all these figures by the time I sort of checked all the prices. We've got a Pokemon here. I don't know which one it is. It's quite big, really. That doesn't mean anything, does it? Um, Star Wars? Two thousand sixteen. Uh, we've got a Deadpool bust, which is a piggy bank. They're quite nice. They always sell well. Uh, this thing is Stormtrooper Mighty Mugs. Sold these Mighty Mugs quite a bit in the past. That one's in quite good condition, really. Just needs a wipe down. We've got a couple of wrestlers here. Cookie there. 
out for the count. I don't know who these wrestlers are, but they can go and they wrestle a pile. Pound each. It's part of the bundle deal. Uh, uh, no, nope, stumped on, me, on him. No, nope, don't know who that is. And this one... Both kind of like wolf men. Um, so that lot were £30. There you go. That's everything. Um, I'm probably going to put these through Whatnot at some point on a Whatnot auction. So if you do follow us on, over on that um, platform, you might get a bargain. Because I, I, the figures go for absolute bargain prices. So look out for Whatnot. Um, if there is anything here that you are ever interested in, please drop me a line on Facebook or Instagram. Details are below. And um, yeah, just do that and we can all save a bit of money and get a good deal. Thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this, they're both good ones, uh, give it a go, or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go, see you later.